All right, guys, I just pulled up out of the hunting spot. I can see some hogs out there in the field already, but they're probably probably 500 yards away. So I'm going to try to get down there by those trees at least 300 yards before I take a shot. Hopefully we can sneak in, maybe get a little bit closer, but I'm not sure. So this may end up being a quick, quick video. We'll see how it goes. guys there they are but they're almost 300 yards away it looks like they're following the edge of the field so I think I'm gonna run over here to the right get down in this creek and uh, try to sneak up on them first one went. I thought it went down but now it looks like it's gone. Alright guys there's the second one I hit way out there you can see it and it took several bullets to put down. I thought this one was right out here somewhere. thought I hit it good. thought it was down not moving or going anywhere but pretty sure it ran into the woods this way. Maybe down in this creek area. Oh here it is right here. Anyway, we'll go over here and check out the other one now. Alright guys, here's the second one. Looks like it took one shot down low. One back there in the back somewhere. Let me roll it over and see if we can see any anything else. Yeah, looks like one hit right there, about dead center, unless that was an exit. So this one took two or three shots, maybe even four. I'm not sure how many times I hit this one, but I hit it several times. I was trying to make sure it went down. The other ones all ran over here, so I think I hit another one over there. Hopefully it was a fatal shot. We're going to walk over there and see if we can find something. Alright guys, I'm back over here by this uh, second hog I shot. I walked all around, all through these woods over here, as much as I could. It gets pretty thick back up in there, but I couldn't find a third one. It sure did sound like I hit a third one though, but it maybe wasn't a fatal shot. The uh, ammo I'm using, I know it's not good. I'll put a picture of it in right here. It's the Monarch 123 grain hollow points, and I use them because they're cheap, and I don't have to worry about catching the brass to reload. I can just blast away and not have to worry about it, but of course, I'd like to be using some uh, Hornady Black out of this rifle, but that's like 30, 30 or 35 bucks a box for 20. So you're talking over a, a dollar a round right there. But anyway, I may make up some hand loads. I think I got some SST bullets. I may try that for this gun and uh, see if I can come up with something. But anyway, I guess that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.